So it has been four months since my baby was born and I'm finally getting around to feeling ready to share a little bit about my postpartum experience and also about my birth story. So the next couple of videos on the channel are just going to be a little bit of a share and um, just a little bit of... I don't know, I guess shedding some light on some of the things that happened to me in my postpartum period because I would really like to spread some awareness about um, one specific thing that rehospitalized me after my baby was born. So stay tuned to the next couple videos on the channel for more information on that. But today I just wanted to share a little bit about my baby's birthday. It was a magical day, it really was. I think in the last couple videos that I made before she was born, I was feeling a little bit disappointed that she was going to have to be a scheduled C-section and disappointed that I didn't get to have my body go into labor or have a natural birth. And I couldn't feel more blessed to have had the team that I had there for my cesarean delivery. I am also extremely lucky because I delivered in the hospital that I work in. So not only did I have an amazing OB who was super motivated to, and she even told the team that she needed to make this C-section as much like a vaginal delivery as possible. And she really listened to my desires for the birth and me for example wanting to just see the placenta afterwards because placentas are fascinating it's an organ that i grew that fed my baby for nine months and i wanted to see it and she made that happen in the or and i also had an amazing team of nurses some of them who I knew from working with them and some of them I didn't know but still made the experience so special. Um, we got to have our own music in the operating room which was so special and I'm not sure that happens very often but I think you can certainly ask for it. Um, I was able to actually, we played the playlist from our wedding which we had last July and it was so much fun. She was actually born to the song <laughs> Mr. Roboto, which is a song that we uh, that we have dearly in our hearts with my dad. It's a it's a kind of a, a joke within the family, so that was super special. And then she when they were they don't get to put her skin to skin with you immediately when you have a cesarean delivery. The NICU team has to come and the NICU nurses check over your baby at the warmer and make sure that everything's okay with them. Uh, so the song that was playing when they were doing their exam on my baby at the beginning of her life was Girls Just Want to Have Fun, which is also really funny. Yeah, you think that's funny too. So after the NICU team checked her over and figured out that everything was going okay with her, they knew that it was really important to me to do skin to skin so the NICU nurse brought her over and placed her skin to skin on my side of the drape while my husband and I both just kind of soaked in the moment of having her with us. Um, there was a moment during the c-section when they pulled her out where I felt like intense, I don't know if it was shoulder pain or chest pain, but I just didn't feel quite right. And so I was feeling a little bit off when I first held her and I was trying to like, be there in the moment for enjoying her birth and also worrying about what was going on in my own body. So that was a little bit emotional and scary at the time. But looking back, um, one of the nurses was able to take so such amazing pictures for us during the birth of my daughter. Um, during our time in the OR, which is pretty much unheard of, I would say. So I felt super fortunate to have those pictures. And looking back, even though I was worried and feeling a little bit stressed in the moment, I can just see the pure joy and love in my eyes when I'm holding my daughter for the first time. So that was extremely special. Two other really special things happened during the delivery. 
I came to peace with the fact that she was born via C-section because my doctor informed me that she actually had the umbilical cord wrapped around her neck twice. So that's the reason we were unable to flip her most likely, even when we did the version procedure to try to flip her towards the end of my pregnancy. Um, and I'm just feeling so thankful for the fact that we didn't push it on that procedure and that the, the doctor that I did see for the version was experienced enough to know that flipping the baby um, or pushing it and trying too hard to flip her just wasn't in our best interest and he knew when to back off and and just tell us that she wasn't gonna flip. I felt I felt uh, a sense of relief and validation at the type of birth that I ended up having and was completely at peace with the way it all had to happen. Um, each baby has their own plan and she knew what she was doing. Yes, you did. <laughs> the other thing that happened was that I had a really special connection with my OB beyond the fact that we were already, um, we already had a pretty close relationship from working together, but I felt uh, even more of a special connection during the delivery just because I was talking with her about where she had done her residency and she had done her residency at a hospital that I used to work at and, um, she knew of and she had known and worked with one of my really good friends who was an OB nurse and ended up passing away a few years ago and it was just a really special connection to make and made me feel like my friend was present there for the birth of my baby as well so I really couldn't have asked for a more special delivery of my baby than then what happened? <laughs> Four months old is fun. They get really chatty. Just wait. <laughs> and really smiley and giggly too. So that was my birth experience. Then I spent a couple hours in, in recovery. Uh, a little bit longer than usual, I think, just because I was feeling really dizzy after the procedure. Um... More on that later. I think that it had to do with probably maybe the reason that I had that pain in the operating room and why I ended up being rehospitalized. But anyway, I spent longer than expected in recovery, but I had my doula there with me who was able to take some awesome pictures and support a little bit with breastfeeding. Uh, my best friend works at the hospital in lactation as well and she was able to come and help with breastfeeding and spend some time with us which was really special and then once they wheeled us over to postpartum I was in my world that's the floor I work on and I was taken care of by the best and most compassionate nurses that I could have asked for and it was just an incredible team and I felt really cared for of course, you're going to have certain experiences in your postpartum in any hospital. There's a lot of interruptions, a lot of phone calls, very little rest. Um, a lot of things need to happen. Um, your birth certificate will probably be processed. They need to do a hearing screening. There's people checking on you. There's people checking on your baby. There's people calling to see if you want photos taken of your baby in some cases. So there's a lot of things going on and it's not very restful but I really couldn't have asked for a better team to be there with me through the whole thing. And I did end up spending the full three days, I think, yes, the full three days in the hospital after my cesarean delivery. Uh, I, after the first 24 hours, was able to get up and get out of bed. And the first 24 hours, you're hooked up to fluids. Oh, bless you, bless you. You're hooked up to fluids and a catheter and you just get to rest there and relax and then 24 hours they unhook you from everything and make you get up and go to the bathroom and uh, that's when you might start to feel a little bit uncomfortable after a cesarean delivery and might start to need a little something extra for pain because the effects of your spinal might start to wear off at, at about that point. My Second night in the hospital, 
My sister actually was able to come down from Boston and she ended up staying with my baby and I in the hospital while my husband went home to sleep. And the day that we were leaving the hospital, my mom and dad flew down and were able to visit us in the hospital and take us or go home with us from the hospital to our house. So it was extremely special. It was also right before the Omicron wave of the pandemic. So the visiting hours were a little bit more lax at that time than they were right after my baby was born. So I felt really fortunate about that as well. And just having all that support at home when we got home was incredible, especially when I ended up being rehospitalized. I could not have done it without having my family here. Feeling very at peace with the way everything happened, looking back and even talking about it now, I feel very happy and grateful for the way everything turned out and just grateful to have my happy, healthy baby here with me and to be now happy and healthy at home with her has been I wanted to share with you all real quick that in mid-March I'm going to be releasing a course that's a crash course on lactation for new parents. Um, it's for those of you who are expecting a baby. You can hop on and learn all the basics you need to know to survive the early days with your baby and know whether or not they're eating enough and what kinds of tools and equipment you might need for lactation and just deciding what your journey will look like. So if you are interested in the course, I'm gonna leave a link down below for the waitlist. Get on the waitlist and I will let you know as soon as the course is available. The cool thing about this course is it's also gonna have some touch points with me live on Zoom. So we're gonna do a Q&A format weekly that you will have access to when you sign up for the course. So go ahead and jump on that waiting list down below. Thank you for tuning in and listening to my story. I will be sharing more about the rehospitalization in a future video, so please check it out. Uh, it's a really important topic that I really think every new parent needs to be aware of, that it could happen to them after you deliver a baby. So please, if you watch any of my videos in the coming, in the coming future, please check that one out. All right, guys, I hope you had a great day and that you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you all soon. Oh, and remember to subscribe down below and hit the bell so you're notified when I post those, those coming videos, all right? Thanks for being here. Talk to you soon. Bye.